Hey, what's up, guys? It's Art here with the Nintendo Night Podcast. I'm joined once again with Joe. Hey, everybody. Today, we're going to do a little something special. Since we talked about it in the podcast a couple weeks ago about Joe's favorite Zelda games, we thought it'd be cool to go ahead and do like a whole Zelda tier list. Uh, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and put the games where we think they belong. Um, Joe's played a lot more of the Zeldas than me, so he'll have more of an opinion on a lot of these. There will be a couple I interject on. But we'll definitely hear Joe's opinion, and we'll start with one where I think I know about where it's going to go. This is Legend of Zelda, The Four Swords. This is the GameCube one, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, or a Link to the Past, Four Swords is what it says. Yeah. Um, I want to say that... He, Maybe that's the Game Boy Advanced version, uh, and it came with A Link to the Past. It was like a d double thing, but you couldn't really play Four Swords on the Game Boy. Well, you could see where I've placed it. Yeah, it, it was a weak game for sure. Um, that's that's going to be a D tier. And you know what? Uh, while we're, uh, we're in the business of making enemies today, Zelda 2, D. It's not, it's not a Zelda game. Damn. Zelda 2. It's like a Final Fantasy. I don't even know what it is, dude. It was it was whack. It's like Mario. Yeah. It's too it's, hard. It's like Castlevania is what it is, really. Yeah, yeah. Um and it is what it is, you know. It's a it's I'm sure it's a good game, but I've never beaten it. I've never come close to beating it. Um, what about the actual a link to the best? Uh, S. Link to the Past is where it all started. That's that's when, you know, people were like, wow, there's yeah. potential with this game. I remember, it's been a long time now, but um, we used to get Game Informer, and they did like their greatest video game of all time, and it was a list of 100, and they voted Link to the Past as their best one. Yeah, I mean, just thinking back, because here's, here's what happened you had zelda 1 for the nes and zelda 2 for the nes the next game was a link to the past when you just think from zelda 1 to that i mean it's like way more story driven the world is ambitious as hell there are so many dungeons um so many items tons of upgrades you upgrade your sword like three times you upgrade your tunic you get a mirror shield in that game the dark world like dude that game was so good yeah that was a great game and you do make a, a fair point when you consider like the upgrade between nes to super nintendo like there's not really been a jump like that well i guess there was another one from Super Nintendo to N64. Yeah. And you get what many people consider one of the greatest games of all time as well. It's kind of a hotly debated topic, whether it's better than A Link to the Past or A Link to the Past is better than it. But while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and place it. I think I, we can both agree that Ocarina of Time would also be S tier. Yep. And um, I think what we should do is we should also like do an order on the tiers so like in this order right now uh link to the past would be more of an s tier than ocarina of time just to like really dig deep um but i think ocarina of time is first and obviously that's because i am not an 80s kid i'm a 90s kid and this was my game to grow up with and it was dope as hell and it still is not yeah that. no so i 100 percent agree with you i'm so nostalgic about ocarina of time there's no way i could put a link to the past before it even though i can both appreciate that both are great games yep um so next on in order would be a link between worlds um this one's I'm, hard for me i never played it so it's all you I beat it in full and I loved it. Like it was it's it was really good. But when I think of the games I have in mind for the S tier, I just don't know if it falls under that cat. I think it's A. I think it's probably top of the table on the A tier. It was really good. And here's the thing. 
I feel like we need a disclaimer about this, but it also should go without being said that we're ranking Zelda games. So in the grand scheme of games, these are all pretty much SRA tier. But in Zelda games, you know, there's good ones and there's weak ones. Um, Breath of the Wild. This is where we're going to disagree. You're right. That's, like a, that's <laughs> like a B tier for me, dude. This is where the debate between you and I starts. <laughs> yeah. And for me, Breath of the Wild right now is at the top of S tier. Oh, yeah, it's nowhere near that for me. Like, it's, I love the game, but there's so many things that it lacks that other Zelda games have. Like, mm, it's a B tier for me right now. Let's leave that one for a second. Okay. Is that we can four leave swords it. on the GameCube? It's one of the four swords. I, I'm not sure which one's which. I would give that, honestly, a C tier. Just for the fact that it's oh, it's so hard to play. You need a Game Boy Advance adapter. Like that game came out after Wind Waker, if I'm not mistaken. Like it's just such a disappointment to go from Wind Waker to this wacky. And it was yeah. an experimental thing, you know. They wanted like a multiplayer Zelda game. Um, some people think they still do and that this next one's going to be multiplayer i don't know about all that but um i think it was just that the technology wasn't right and if i'm not mistaken you had to have like four game boy advance plugs yeah i believe you did and four game boy advance for that matter yeah which is just uh crazy it's just yeah. uh only like two games did that. This game and uh, Crystal Chronicles, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. And both did fairly poorly because of it. So next we have the first Link's Awakening. Yeah, and this tier list doesn't have each of them. So we will just call this like the best Link's Awakening. Whichever you consider the best and whichever I consider the best, that's what we're placing. Um, okay. Well... I think that, honestly, I like just a mixture of the two because they really both bring out the same energy, and that's why the remake was so good. Um, and when you think about this as being the first Zelda game on on the first ever handheld console as well, the Game Boy, that was, as you can see there, freaking black and white, like green pixel screen. This game was crazy good. Yeah, and, not even really black and white, more like green and dark green. Yeah, and like that that really translated into the remake when you think that it's almost a word for word remake. Like they really didn't change that much and this was a game that came out 30 years ago. Yeah, and it was really cool too that they got to just have fun with the story. They didn't like Zelda to that point had been very much go save the princess. That's mm -hmm. it. And yeah. this one they were kind of like, "Oh, it's a Game Boy game, just do whatever you want." Yep. And it really worked out. The story's wacky, it's cool, it's pretty deep for that time period, and I really enjoyed that game. Um, the remake's my favorite. I'll go ahead and say that. I just love the art style. I think all the things that needed to be fixed, they fixed. And they didn't really ruin anything, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, the remake's incredible. Um, and you know what? It's an incredible Zelda game in general. I think it might be an S tier. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm with it. I'm third on S tier right now with this game, I think. That kind of makes me want to move a link between worlds to S because that game is so good. No, no, let's keep it for now. Majora's Mask, S tier. That's incredible. Um, the question is where on S tier? I think it's at the top for me with the games we currently have placed. I hate to agree with you, but I think it's at the top for me too. Like I like it more than Ocarina of Time. I enjoy Ocarina of Time. I'm nostalgic about it, but everything like that is is double for me yeah um, with majora's mask like as a kid i wasn't that great at video games but you know i'm gonna have to take you all back to the 90s 
there was no internet for you to look things up like these masks were hard to get yeah and the fact that i wasn't a gamer i liked following villagers around all day to see what they would do so i remember um figuring out how to get the wedding mask is that what it was called couple's mask yeah couple's mask i figured that out before my brothers just because like that's what i like to do so i followed andrew around found out you could check into the hotel like they didn't even think that was a thing you could do and like that's how we did it and so that game's just so nostalgic for me because there was so much more to do than just zelda stuff just like yeah. i think that's it's a very similar reason why breath of the wild to me is so fun yeah the transformation masks like dude they did so many cool things in that game and uh yeah that one that's an incredible that that's probably gonna stay at the very tippy top yeah um, and that game is perfect just in case you haven't play the 64 version yeah the ds version they ruined a lot of stuff 64 they version's good zora swimming it's all messed up man all right what about the one that started it all the legend of zelda um, I hate to not rate this an S tier, but it's just not that fun to play anymore. Yeah, I feel like it deserves to be an S tier, but I agree with you as well that I don't think... It did not age like a Link to the Past did. Um, And I have played it within like the last two years and beat it in full and got all the hearts and all that. Um, And it's still doable, but I did look some stuff up. Um. I think it's an A tier for sure. Oh. The Oracle games um, are both really solid. I didn't play either of the Oracle games, so this is all you. Um, they're good Zelda games. They're really good. Um, and they do things where like, you get a code after you beat one and you can put it in the other. Uh, I like Seasons better because there's like puzzles you can do where... like. It's snowing on one screen and then you change it and the snow melts and you like unlock a cave or something. Um, and they're, they're both really good Game Boy advanced games, but or I guess, were they Game Boy Color? I think they were Game Boy Color. Yeah. Um, but... I think that the Minish Cap, which, oh yeah, I do see it, is much better um, as far as the Zelda game. I think both of these are B tier, Seasons, then Ages. All right. So and just Phantom to reiterate, reiterate again, a B tier Zelda game <laughs> is different than a B tier game. You know, like these games are good. This is super hard. Yeah, definitely. Phantom Hourglass. This one I did play. Uh, it was one of my first like DS games. And yeah. I've got to say, it's automatically B or lower for me just because of the way you control the character. Yeah. Um, obviously, they wanted to implement those touchscreen mechanics. And I agree, it's, it's a weaker Zelda game because of that and because of the spirit or the Phantom Hourglass like dungeon. Yeah. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Um like that. Yep. Yeah, that's where I think that's where I think it belongs. Uh all right, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. I'm just going to go ahead and say I love this game. It's one of the most story-driven Zelda games. The story is fantastic. It's basically, you know, just about the origins of the Master Sword, which is super dope. Um, obviously, its biggest downfall is the gameplay mechanics with the uh, motion controls, um, which I do have to agree going back and playing is annoying, and I really do want to replay that game. I started over the summer, and I never finished it. Um but there's so much good to this game, dude. The upgrade system, you can upgrade every single item from the slingshot to all the shields, the bow, and that is so cool. Um, love Skyloft. 
the outer sky world is kind of barren. There's a couple cool islands, but it's not like on a Wind Waker level. Um, but to me, this this is like top A tier. It's a really good Zelda game, and it follows the formula very good. Um, the other problem is it's just t- almost too linear, and I don't like how the world is separated. I just want there to the world to be connected, you know? Yeah. But I, I will interject here. I didn't beat this game, so I don't feel like I can have as much of an opinion on it. But for me, it'd probably be bottom A tier, maybe top B tier. The boss fights were so good, dude. When you and his name is slipping, but the the main bad guy besides demise, when you get on these in these one on one sword fights with him, dude. It was so good, and he was a freaky looking. Like the character design was awesome. Great, great Zelda game. Spirit Tracks. <laughs> Neither of us played great. Spirit Tracks. The tracks. We'll go ahead and, and put that out there. And because of that, <laughs> it's bottom of D tier for me. At least Zelda Two got us to give it a chance. Yeah. I, I couldn't after Phantom Hourglass. It, it looked too similar. And except in this one, instead of having the open ocean, you're like on a train track. Like they took all the exploration out and you just on a train track, pass. Man, um, I forgot the other one was even on the ocean. You could like customize your boat. Yeah, was that, that was the coolest part of the game was customizing your boat. Yeah, I remember when I, you, there was two cool boats. There was the full gold boat and like the demon boat. They're both very awesome. Um, Minish Cap. You already said you like it better than Ages and Seasons. Yeah, it's a really, really, really good Game Boy game. Like, almost the best handheld Zelda. I do think Link Between Worlds is better, but I think it goes between that and Zelda 1. It is very good. That would make Link's Awakening the best handheld Zelda game. And I think it is. Based on our own tier list. Yeah. Yeah, I can Uh, agree with you there. Wind Waker is 100% S tier. See, that's the problem we're having now. I feel like these next three games are all S tier. Then our list is going to be very S tier heavy. But I don't know that that's a bad thing. it, It has to be. There, there's some games that are just too good. Now, where it goes, I like that. I would That's put it in the same it. place. Just because, um, and this is strictly because of our own nostalgia. Yeah, this is opinion-based at this point. But I mean, this whole thing, Princess, that's what it is, in opinion. Personally, I put Twilight Princess second, like right after Majora's Mask. That game was my all of my childhood dreams come true. We're going to put it where Joe says, but I would put it bottom of S tier myself. Um, as far as how good of a game Twilight Princess is, I would go and replay any of these other S tier games before I'd want to replay that. Like, yeah, it was cool at the time that it was like so good looking, but I don't think it's held up as well as any of these other S tier games. And I think that the HD remaster looks fantastic. And, like, I played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask so much as a kid. And all I wanted was, like, realistic graphics, like, good-looking graphics. And then Wind Waker comes out, and it's, like, super cool and fun. And I always liked it, but the graphics didn't really... I didn't like them at first, but obviously now I do love them. Um, Story about Wind Waker. I think we have to give just to say how much we liked that game when everybody else hated it. We got the GameCube that came with the Zelda bundle disc um, that had Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. And then it had a 20-minute demo of Wind Waker. And we played that demo so All many times. Time. To see how far we could get through it and see if we could see more things because i don't know that like it ever ended like if if yeah um 
if there's a glitch where you could get to the end of the game in the 20, I I think the whole game's on there, but I, I might be wrong. Maybe it only gives you like, you know, at some point you'd get too far into the game where the demo would stop, but we never reached that point. We But we played that demo a lot. It was, you could do the Forsaken Fortress and uh, Dragon Roost Cavern. And I literally used to try and speed run Dragon Roost Cavern and just see how far I could get. Oh, that was so fun. Yep. All right, so then we can both agree Breath of the Wild goes top. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. There's no way it's the best Zelda game. How many hours have you put into Breath of the Wild? Probably like 150. Yeah, I've put in at least that many. I've put in probably double that in all my Skyrim playthroughs. But well, this is in the Skyrim tier list. Exactly. It's a Zelda tier list, so it's not about the number of hours you put in. And um, Breath of the Wild's better than Skyrim. <laughs> I do agree with that. I'll put that out there uh, right now. It's kind of a different game, but it also came out like six years after. The graphics, beautiful. Gameplay, stunning. Story, unheard of. Yeah, unheard of because it <laughs> didn't exist. <laughs> no, I really liked the cutscenes. All right, fine. Then I think we can both agree. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> if it's not top, it's bottom. <laughs> I honestly don't know where to put it. Like, I mean, for me, it's 100% an S tier game. It's got to be an S tier game. Like, I understand we're ranking Zelda games and we've talked about that and not just all games because honestly, most of these, if it was a list of just all games, most of these would be higher than they are. Like, yeah. None of these would be D or C tier. But the thing is, if you made a list of all games, Breath of the Wild's 100% S tier. So that should translate back down to a list of Zelda games. If it's S tier among all games, then it's definitely S tier among Zelda games. As much as I hated the dungeons, that's really all I really hated, but I despised it. I said, what is... It? They're horrible. They are so bad. It's an S-tier game. It's fantastic. It's really good. Middle of S-tier. Oof. He's saying it's better than Wind Waker? Yeah, but, well... Yes, but I'm also saying Wind Waker is better than Twilight Princess. True. So, you know, there's some wiggle room, especially... It's very our, hard to order the S-tier games. <laughs> right. When you said we were going to do it in order, it'd be much easier if we could just say, hey, these are all S-tier. They're all great. Play any one of them. But the fact that we're trying to order it, uh, I think to take my opinion and Joe's opinion and be as fair to both of them as you can, it's either right here below Wind Waker or right here above Wind Waker. I'm just not positive as to which. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you said the best Zelda game all time is Majora's Mask and the worst is Zelda 2, I probably wouldn't disagree with that statement. Spirit Tracks didn't play, so I can't say that's the worst ever. But if um, you told me it sucked, I'd believe you. I Yeah, I would too. Um... Four Swords Adventures, yeah, that's that's doo doo. Four Swords was not very good. Phantom Hourglass, the Oracle Games, they were really good, but there's much stronger handheld games. Yeah, I'm not sure they deserve B tier, but our B tier would have been empty without them. Yeah. Um. Our A tier. Honestly, I think our A tier is the most concrete. Like, those are all super good games, and I think they're in the right order, too. Yeah. S-tier is just a jumble of just perfection. <laughs> like, these games are all, like, 10 out of 10s, in my opinion. Yeah, so they're all really such hard. good games. I agree. But it, I think we did a decent do job ordering it, at least based on our own opinions. Yeah, when you factor nostalgia, I think that's my order. Yeah. Right. A lot of people say you can't grade games on nostalgia but i think that is a a fair ranking because i think there's something to be said about how nostalgic you are for a game there's a reason you're nostalgic for that particular game yeah 
when I when I think of this tier list, I think like nostalgia, replayability, um, you know, the Zelda formula is something that I really think about because that's my favorite part about Zelda games. It's like, you know, the dungeons and the items. And I think this pretty much hits it. All right. So that's our list. Thanks, everybody, for watching the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a like on the video, comment what order you would have them in, rage yeah. on us if you're mad. Destroy us in the comments. Let us know where we messed up. Yep. If you haven't already, also please follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Nintendo, where we post updates about all of our uploads as well as just funny tweets and things like that. So uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.